Hi guys, it's Quinn here, and as always, if you enjoy my content, please hit the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm see my content when I upload. Hi guys, I'm joining you from my wonderful library at home to talk about all of the buzz that's been circulating. Circulating? To talk about all of the buzz that's been circulating around now that the Dune movie is released overseas, and it's very exciting. First things first, because a lot of people have been asking me, I have not seen the movie. Some people in the in the states have gotten early screenings, but I have not been one of them, unfortunately. Uh, they don't really seem to pay very much attention to me, so I don't like really like. I'm not really an insider, like so. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen a lot of reactions, and it's exciting to say the least. Now, most of the initial reviews that were coming out were all like very very positive from actual like fans, from people, just everyday people that saw the movie. They really, really enjoyed it. IGN and IndieWire and a couple other big names did release some pretty scathing reviews, but those were kind of few and far between. Like, so there was not many of those actually. Dune debuted on Rotten Tomatoes at 85. Now, since then, it's gone up to 90%. So it's gone from like a B to an A. So like, that's exciting. The more people that are seeing the movie, the higher the rating seems to go. So critically, Dune has been smashing it, like, it, like, so critically, Dune has been smashing it, smashing it, smashing it. That's the thing about Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve does not make bad movies. I have yet to come across a Denis Villeneuve movie that I thought, oh, this is a bad movie. Now, I've, I've seen Denis Villeneuve movies that have been, like, too intense for me personally. Like, I, like, Sicario was not for me a bit too intense. Prisoners, I thought, was really good, but also it's, like, so intense that it's, like, oh, it might turn some people off. But like every Denis Villeneuve movie is really, really good and really, really well made. And he seems to be the kind of director that forms a relationship with his cast and he knows them well enough to direct them in all the right places. So like, so his movies always have impeccable acting work. So critically, it's safe to say Dune is pretty much a smash hit. Now let's talk about box office wise. Now, it did come out a few days ago that Warner Brothers is of the mind that Doom doesn't have to do that great at the box office. They'll be okay with it doing kind of okay at the box office as long as the HBO Max audience embraces Doom and watches it. If it gets a good reaction from the HBO Max audience, then Doom, the sequel, is pretty much guaranteed regardless of whether or not it's a smash at the box office. But honestly, I've got good news for you guys. In just 24 hours... 24 hours of its international release, Dune made $36 million. So it beat every projection. Dune opened number one in just about every single market. Smashing. Absolutely smashing. This is the result that we hoped for. Um, everyone, all the naysayers, Dune's gonna flop, Dune's gonna flop. Well, look at there. It looks like the people in the world are pretty excited to see Dune, and I'm excited to see what happens when the film opens up October 22nd in the United States. And it gets even more exciting when you look at how Dune is ranking compared to other movies that have been released recently. So it's ranking 4% ahead of Tenet, it's ranking 33% ahead of Black Widow, 52% ahead of Blade Runner 2049, 58% above Shang-Chi, and 80% ahead of Godzilla vs. Monsters, whatever, Kings, and whatever that was called. So, Dune is crushing, crushing the competition. And even compared to Blade Runner 2049, like, because a lot of people had, a lot of people were saying, oh, Blade Runner 2049 was a flop, and therefore Dune will be a flop. Well, Dune is ranking more than 50% ahead of Blade Runner, so this is nothing like Blade Runner. This is a totally different animal. So just seeing these numbers, Gets me super, super excited. Not only is Dune the critical success that we wanted it to be, it is looking to be the financial success that we pretty much required in order to get this sequel. So to you guys, even if you don't plan on seeing Dune in theaters, watch it on HBO Max. Like leave it playing in the background if you can. Like let's get as many streams and plays of this movie to guarantee that we will have a Dune franchise in the future. So these numbers are looking really, really good, but as the Benny Gesserits say, a, bit, a beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. So we have to be cautious. Let's not get like overly excited, but it really does seem like things are working out in our favor. And though I have not seen the movie yet, 
even though like hi hey, uh, if somebody could get me a screening you know somebody got some tickets somewhere like shoot me an email i don't know but whatever even though i have not seen the movie yet i am extremely optimistic i am extremely optimistic about the future of the franchise and where things are going and we're probably going to hear a lot more about new do things and we're probably going to hear a lot more about new Dune things uh, being announced in the future. We've already got the Benny Jesuit Sisterhood show. There's probably other stuff coming. Um, and it's just really, really exciting time to be a Dune fan. In related classic science fiction news, the Asimov Foundation show is premiering in like four days. And the first three episodes are premiering. So like I'm going to watch those first three episodes and then I'll, I'll like review the first three. And I think I'll be able to tell whether or not the show is actually good based on the first three episodes. So if I if I watch the first three and I really enjoy it, then I'll probably continue watching it. But if I watch the first three and then it's like kind of not good, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to suffer through watching it all. Like I've, I went through the Game of Thrones thing. You guys know, like before I did Dune on this channel, I covered a Song of Ice and Fire books. You can see this. I covered the a Song of Ice and Fire books and I eventually was pulled reluctantly into having to cover the terrible show <laughs> and it was not fun for me like doing the reviews of every episode so for this asimov show to avoid myself pain if the first three episodes aren't very good then i'm not really probably going to continue covering this show so that is what to expect but i'm excited to see it and i'm excited that we live in an era where like all of these classic stories are coming out we got the wheel of time over on um amazon we've got dune we've got Asimov's Foundation coming out, so it's like a great time for classic science fiction and fantasy. And the future looks bright for Dune, of course. Now, to end this video off, I've said this before, but from this point on, now that Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie is out, the David Lynch 1984 Dune movie is no longer Dune. Denis Villeneuve's Dune is Dune. And I really do feel like Dune is gonna like set this new aesthetic standard for science fiction movies. Just from what I've seen of it, it's so stylish. It's so interesting. Everything's gonna copy this from now on. Uh, and it's just curious to see how this movie is gonna change the face of cinematic science fiction. In the same way that the Dune book really changed, you know, the face of sci-fi stories. It really, when you read a lot of the science fiction that came out in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s you can see the influence of dune like just like all over everything it's really just spread out so far it'll be awesome seeing the movie do the same thing seriously like two years ago when it was announced that denny villeneuve was going to do this movie like it was almost too good to be true i almost thought it was going to be a situation where it was going to be like denny villeneuve is this guy is an artist and the studio is going to want to like interfere with the movie and they're not going to be able to let him make his vision but it seems to have all worked out they really did let him make his vision, and I hope they keep letting him do his thing and don't like put their greedy little paws into Dune 2 so that Dune 2 can be just as good as this first one. And and I'm unbelievably excited, and I just can't wait to see what more Denis Villeneuve has to offer, and I'm super excited to see the Dune movie on October 22nd. That seems like so long away, but I guess I'll have to wait. That seems like so long away, but like God, I'm just trying not to think about it right now. I'm trying not to think about it right now. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go. Peace out.